Welcome, hello again. Anna here and we're going to be talking about psychic development activity number five. So today we are going to be practicing our predicting skills. The intuition is a key part in your predicting skills. So trusting that very first thought that comes into your mind, that is your intuition giving you your answer. So that is what to trust. The brain and the mind is what jumps in afterwards and goes, no, but if, what if, and all that extra stuff that you really don't need that's very distracting. So when we're practicing our predicting, we are going to take the answer, which is the very first thing that comes into our mind, and we're not going to judge it. We're just going to go, right, we're going to go with that. Because the more you trust it, the more accurate it gets, and the more you believe in it, the more accurate it gets. So it's all about practicing. I trust my intuition 100%, and it works for me every time. So today we're going to look at predicting just some simple things, like predicting things that could happen every day. So say your phone rings. Okay, Instead of looking at who's, who's calling you, before you open the cover or turn your phone over, just for that first three seconds while it's ringing, who do you think it might be? And just take that first name that comes into your head. And don't feel let down if it's not that person. Because it takes a while to tune in when you're doing your predictions and using your intuition. It takes a while for your mind to switch over to trusting it. So this is all about playing with it. You know, it's like when you're a kid in a car and you're driving along, you know, okay, who's going to see the next red car? You know, who's going to see the next blue car? The next car that overtakes us is going to be orange. Now, what's the likelihood of that? You know, the child sat there and just randomly just said this color and there goes that orange car and the parents are like, oh my gosh. So children quite often tune into their intuition. You know, they just trust it naturally. They haven't been swamped by the way society does things yet and they haven't had their intuition put in a little box. So have fun playing with this. So you're just another example. You're going home and mum's cooking tea. What do you think you might be having for tea tonight? Take that very first thing that comes into your mind. And when you get home, see if it's that particular thing. Another activity that you can do with this is someone knocks on your front door. Before you answer the door, you're standing there for about two or three seconds, not looking through the peak hole, but just standing there and just clear your mind. Who do you think it might be at the door? Open the door, see who it is. Another way that you can use this is if you have a CD player in your kitchen or car, or even using shuffle on your iPod or on your phone, is to just guess what the song is that's coming up next. That's an oldie, but a goodie. That one works really well. And you'll be surprised how often this tune will just pop into your head and you go looking for it on the radio. It might not be on the first station that you go to. So you just got to tune through a few of the stations and just see if you can find it. Don't be downheartened if it takes a while for your intuition to tune in to doing predicting. Because sometimes we think we're doing it and our mind is still controlling the process because that's what our mind and our ego likes to do. It doesn't like intuition having control or intuition having the first say. So some of the other things you can do with this, you're going out with some friends. Uh, say your best friend's coming out. What colour do you think he or she might be wearing? Have a think about it. You know, OK, say pink or purple or orange or green or something with spots comes into mind. When you go out with them, see if that's what they're wearing. The more you do this activity, the more that you will tune in, your intuition will click in automatically. And the same with when you are thinking, you know, you say to the universe, you're manifesting, I really want to do a particular course in something, or I'm looking for a particular book. And you just happen to be in a bookshop and a book falls off, the, you know, falls off the shelf. And instead of walking on past, you pick it up. There's the book that you needed. OK, this works in lots and lots of different ways. So have fun with doing some predicting. Have fun with tuning into your intuition. It's as simple as clearing your mind those two to three seconds before you ask and then just sticking with that very first answer that comes to you. 
Now have some fun with this, see how you go with it. Put it in the comments. If you find that your predicting is improving and you're predicting all these amazing things, uh, write it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you're going with this. So thank you very much for tuning in today. If you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button, share it with your friends, let people know about all these little activities that people can do. You can do these in groups. I mean, you can have lots of fun with your psychic development. Thank you for coming today and I will see you again soon.